um, in a few weeks. Um, but here we go. Let's uh, get things underway. I wouldn't put it past Fnatic to just start throwing some curveballs, basically. Just mm. using this as an opportunity to experiment a little bit, because they, they need to find something else as far as Olaf Meister is concerned. I mean, we saw we saw Crimson and Olaf Meister kind of jumping around on each other over at B-Plateau right now during the warm-up. So it looks like maybe they're trying to experiment a little bit with different ways of getting up on the big box where the tree is. That's something to consider. These, these, these are two teams that really do favor, you know, different kinds of boosts. And so... Uh, I'm not surprised to see Olaf Meister trying to start figuring uh, figuring things out over here, but Olaf Meister actually going to get up on the plateau fairly quickly, and he's got JW not too far away to lend him a hand as well. So this is an important thing to note here. The only problem is that's not where the action is going to be happening. Virtus Pro are going straight up ramp onto the A site now, and it's Flusha here holding a low. He needs to get that headshot on Taz, but he's not going to manage it. And Pronax getting caught reloading, but as soon as he's got the bullets and the gun, boom, instant headshot. We'll take out Basha, and that's going to leave it down to Pronax now, trying to retake here. And Taz firmly stuck on the site. He's trying to find a battle, and Taz actually going to win it straight up, but now he's in a 1v3. And Fnatic are just cascading. They're just going to be able to completely overwhelm the defense here, although Taz is managing to take JW with him. He's down to 1 HP, and the, yeah, not going to last long once Olaf Meister joins the fray. So, just to point out a small thing there, I... I think you may have missed it slightly, but um, when the VP were actually executing our middle there, they chucked a the smoke towards connector and completely whiffed it. Bounced off the roof in uh, the middle area there, and they weren't able to smoke off the connector area whatsoever. That allowed Prona to come up, and actually it was a lot easier retake than he should have had. So they should have been smoked off, but due to a, a misthrown smoke, that actually made the round a lot easier for Fnatic, and I think would have been the deciding factor. I know it's quite a big thing to throw out there, saying one smoke decides a round, but that's what happened. So a little... Uh, as we saw, you know, it actually requires Pasha to go aggressive into Connector, trying to get control of it as bad as, yeah. bad as possible, because then it's just another point that they have to take a fight at. But look at this approach here by Virtus Pro and by Fnatic. Fnatic have gone for four SMGs, but Virtus Pro have four spot. This is incredible. Now Virtus Pro have the hard counter essentially to what Ver to what Fnatic are trying to throw at them right now. Tech nines of an AK on Taz. This could do some serious damage here. Are they going to find an opportunity to use them, or are they going to get completely shredded by a perfectly timed flash? Krim's managing to get two kills for free with that MP9 and Taz just now getting back into it, but he's going to be the only one left alive here. Wow, that's okay, going to be then. devastating. Hmm, interesting decision there to pull out. Like, it's kind of the classic 1.6 thing. Like, you give your best player, hit by up uh, armor, and you give him uh, the AK. And I think they were expected to do a lot more work there. And the fact they had the AK in their possession, I think they could have afforded to slow that down. And actually, they had a scout as well. Like, actually, try and work some picks. Like, if you've gone for a play like that, at least don't run into the the SMG wall we know Fnatic looks so like to em employ in some situations. I think it's the Tech Nines. They're just thinking, well, get out there fast with the Tech Nines. Yeah. And, you know, just get that running gun headshot. And it shouldn't have worked. It should have worked so much better. But I think what I saw was just a couple of flashes that were like perfectly timed. And speaking of nades as well, you know, Flusher manages to get the kill on Bialy, and he's going to get the follow up on Neo. But this isn't the Kevlar buy. This is just straight domination. Yeah, coming throw out. away. Yeah, throw away around coming out here from uh, from VP. But I think it was, like what made the difference is a couple of nades. Oh, Pasha, sorry, no joy this time. JW, quick <laughs> reactions. One eighty denied. Uh, like the VP can buy here, but they're not going to have the AWP in hand. They're going to have to go for the full AK setup here. Like Royale kind of thinking about buying something different there. I thought he could whip out a scout there to make me feel a little bit sick, but he didn't. He's going for the five AKs now, and uh, it's going to be a big round. Like we can see, Flusher has got his trademark P90 there. Wouldn't be surprised if he goes for something a little bit cheeky, uh, pushing in, trying to get the first initial frag. We can see him actually pushing up in the absent now. What's he going to do? He's holding. No interesting plays. Nothing crazy coming out. Virtus Pro also setting up over on A, or rather on B. And Olaf Meister holding close to Plateau. Gets a nice flash. That's going to slow things down a little bit. Taz, we can see, jumping through the smoke. And that's actually going to stop Bialy on the other side of the smoke. He's got the nade in hand as well. And P Olaf Meister, he doesn't hear that nade hit Taz. Thought for a second, but now we just got shots going all the way. And somehow Olaf Meister makes it out of there alive. That's insane. How is this guy still here? There's the follow-up flash, and now Taz, Olaf Meister, so smart. He was trying to set the set the trap, essentially, trying to make them think, oh, wait, I'm over on the left side, Ooh, so don't okay. pay attention to the la to the right. But Flusha basically finding kills with the P90, and he should not be able to do this. And what is that business? Pronax needed to get that kill there on the Pasha, though, and now both players are very low for Virtus Pro, but so is Flusha. This is going to make it just a little bit awkward as far as the retake is concerned, and they're so confident in their ability to get this bomb plant that they're willing to go for the fake. For the fake, rather. And now, smoke is going to start clearing up here. Taz might have missed his window. Now, flush up. There are the shots. 
Hoping to get lucky through that smoke. He knows that both of them are low. Pasha, Taz, they refresh that smoke. And now Taz will get that plant. And flush it. It's like a Looney Tunes moment. He paints the perfect outline. Taz somehow still alive. And this has now completely wrecked things for Flusha. Like the clutch master himself for Fnatic. The man that they would always rather have in the clutch. Now he will be able to get that kill on Taz. But where's Pasha? And Pasha playing this perfectly, not giving anything actually. Flusha, if he sticks this, if he tries, like I think because he lost that, uh, he lost that stick from earlier. He's not attempting it again. And now there should be an easy kill here for Pasha. Oh no! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> from that really smart play you were talking about, Pasha was playing that perfectly. I think he just misjudged where the bomb was planted there slightly, and looking from like a genius and like really baiting him out there, it looked a little bit of a clown at the end because he forgot where the bomb was planted. He didn't actually have vision on the diffuser. Oh, that's really going to be disappointing for them. That is that's bit, annoying. That, that's a bit. Uh, that's a bit uh, disappointing. You're right. Oh man, he played that so well as well. Like he really played that like textbook. Like he played it out. He got his knife out, got the vision, and then just left it at the end. Oh man. Yeah, that's painful. Sorry, Pasha. That, that shouldn't happen. But what, sh what also shouldn't happen basically is JW already going to work. He's been spotted in mid. Attempts another shot. He's going to be able to make it out of there alive. And Pasha has taken out Olaf Meister. So you pissed off the Papa biceps and. Well, Crims is not afraid. He's managing to snuff him, so it's going to be a man advantage now for Fnatic. And they try and go pushing through, but again, JW just doing his thing in underpass. Gets that smoke down as well, so there's no real way through here for Virtus Pro. They're going to go for it, but then they trade places. I love this by JW. He is so <laughs> on top oh of his God. game. He's like, oh, I know. I see it coming. The flash through. Fancy that. And then he's what? in position to catch Bialy. What is going on? Neo's just like, where is this guy? Oh my That's, god, JW. What can you say about that? That is not, to be fair, like if any other player did that in the world, they'd just, they'd just get punished and it would look like they did something absolutely stupid. But JW is just one of those guys, like, you have to give credit where credit is due, that he always gets himself in these horrible situations, but he is talented enough to get himself out of them. And he picks up four frags in the most ridiculous manner I've ever seen in my life. That's really his unsought to injury there after that last round. And, oh, uh,. Man. This is just getting a little bit crazy for me, and that just, just, just sums up JW in one round, I think. Like, that's just the kind of stuff you see from this guy all the time. Yeah, and I mean, well, this time he's going to get flashed, so they want to put the pressure on fast here, Virtus Pro, and they're going to go jumping in, but JW swapped up for the M4, so this is not working out at all. Two kills before they can finally get rid of him, but then the rotation will come in. Pronax able to get the top ramp before they can actually make it out of the entrance there, Virtus Pro, so this is where it starts to get bogged down. Snacks was trying to push through a apartments, but he's going to get cut off by Flush on a nicely timed smoke. And now Pronax gets flashed in, but that flash goes deep. Pronax still able to trade, but the follow up is there for Pasha and Bialy. They actually managed to get ahead, so they bring it back to a two on two here. This is very straightforward stuff, it seems, from Virtus Pro, man. They are just getting real stubborn about their game. They're thinking, we're going to go on to this A site. We're going to make it happen whether you like it or not. Now they're actually making use of all the extra smokes that have been dropped down there due to the corpses. And this is just trying to sell the fake and that's exactly what snacks is trying to make work here he gets spotted but they don't see the bomb this is still keeping both players on this site right now for fanatic and snacks making it even better manages to take out crim so it will be down to flush but he's so far away from the b site this is actually incredible he has so far to run now to even get anywhere near this plant Nice open plan from Pasha as well. He's got utility to lock them out. This should be his round. He wants to get revenge for that last clutch. This is it. Time to make amends. And they're going to trade places. Because Flush is already walking out onto this site. Is he so... Oh, my God. There's no... You know, you don't catch Flush off guard. He's already ahead what? of it. Oh, my God. Right through the doors. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. And, well, this leaves Flusha in a bit of a tight spot. He is actually going to get confirmation. Now Pasha goes for it, and now Flusha once again trying to repeat history, but Pasha not going to get caught off guard this time. Actually will be able to stop the diffuse this time around and will put Virtus Pro up on the board, but Flusha through the doors there. <laughs> yeah, so a relief from Pasha, I think. Like, when he's probably took, well, like, 70 damage there through the door, he probably thought, oh, God, it's happening again. Got himself in such a good position and almost went horribly wrong again, but... Kept his cool, 5-1, that's a very big round. You can see that um, the terror, the CTs don't actually have the best buy here. Famous and CZ coming in, and it's quite surprising. Like, it shows you how close these rounds have actually been. Even though winning five in the row after losing one, they're kind of forced into this uh, difficult position. I'm really curious to see if Flush is going to decide to try to run through here. He's going to get spotted. Hail of bullets, chase him out of A apartments, but he does manage to make it out of there unscathed. So nicely done there by Flush, just slowing Virtus Pro up. And in the meantime, it looks like they had a little bit of a skirmish over on the A site. Crims has dropped down to about half HP. Pasha's going to lurk his way out. And Pasha, does he actually spot the man? He will. Instant headshot, but then Pronax 
Great return. Not giving him any time to work with at all at this point. And now that leaves Taz and Neo. Neo already down to 16 HP. Looks like he probably got legged. And Taz, well, not sure how he got damaged, but still, this should uh, definitely be favoring Virtus Pro, or rather Fnatic at this point. Yeah, absolutely. Such a big round as well. Like this resets the money for VP, and this is just not what they want after a force buy. Oh, Taz. Oh. Yeah. That gun, it really, he's one of the few people that makes it just look like an AK itself, it's like so powerful, with it. it always amazes me how he pulls things off. Yeah, it is, I mean, and now he's just like, oh, I have an AK, but ha, who needs an AK? I'm so much faster, so much fleet of foot, yeah, there you go. I mean, he, there's, yeah, it's, you just can't really, you have certain players, another player that's really good with the CZ is RPK, actually, funnily enough. Yeah. Because he, he, he tap taps with it, yeah, thing. that's it. He taps with it, and like uh, I watch that as well. And I remember playing against him in Source, and like his tap aim and like this, this straight up one on one skill was just so insane. And when he gets a given a gun like that, and he can make it work for him, like it's just so scary just knowing it. I'd rather face him with an AK than that thing. So I know he's got so much more movement ability with the CZ. Mm -hmm. oh, that's it. Well, plus it still reigns supreme on this map, and then, well, then also. Buys Fnatic a second chance. They save the AWE for JW as well, so that's that's just perfect. And Virtus Pro pretty much with a close to hard eco. A uh, very close to hard eco here. Two P250s picked up. That's the extent of their firepower. The rest of it going to be straight up blocks. And well, it looked like they might have wanted to go through and to drop down rim for a second there. Now rotating back. Maybe because they figured out there's an AWP over here, we'll have a better chance at rushing this guy down. It is JW as well. We want revenge. That might be an option here. So JW... Incendiary. Oh, and that's going to be a terrific incendiary. Attempts the shot, gets instantly punished, and this is fantastic. Now, Flusha does get uh, the kill onto Neo, and he's going to get the perfect HE as well. Kaboom. Bialy down to 50 HP. Smoke goes down as well. Just a little bit late, but he still stops Snacks cold. And that also leaves it here to Pasha, who's already dropped down into drop down room. So, doing basically what he needs to be doing. The Lurk. Hope to catch somebody out of position. Oh, huge shot. Great work from Taz there, and he's managing to get it to a three-on-two situation. He's going to have to find another one if they have any chance of making this round come to any worth. Uh, Pasha also, man, he's he's on the lurk right now, hunting, hoping perhaps to find something. Nice, and he nice. could just get the drop on Crims, but Crims, for a second, it seemed like he might have been aware. Oh, <gasps> there's the gun Sorry. barrel. But he doesn't get it done, and we lose Taz as well. Instant. Okay, well, that's the, the the nightmare situation for VP over. One one round and then lost two straight after. But <clears throat> here we go. They should be able to buy here. It's going to be a pretty bad buy again. They're getting to the the, 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 the point of the game where they have to buy. They can't afford to throw any more rounds away, but this, the economy is just not strong enough to kind of have enough to, to convincingly pull some of these rounds out of the bag. Like, to successfully to execute onto the sites on Cobble, you need to be locking out the choke points, like the connector or the doors when you're going to be. Like, it's it's very difficult to do that. You have to go for straight up frags otherwise and make sure your aim's on point. And uh, judging by the way Fnatic are playing, it's be very difficult to do that without that utility. JW is so on point with his timings, this is actually crazy. He's using every one of his nades, but he's also buying a lot of time for the rotation to come through from his mates. And he's still alive on this site. They have not killed him when all of the when all of VP have basically just gone straight up ramp trying to hunt this guy down. JW still alive. Goes for the shot. Crims is gonna find one as well. Pasha up close to this site. Will not get the joy of taking out uh, JW because that's gonna be Bialy, but then Flush and Pronos come right through, and this is where it starts to get a little bit out of control. Because I, yeah. you, Virtus Pro, they definitely need to be getting something closer to six rounds here on uh, on their T side of Cobble. So the fact that Fnatic are sitting on a very healthy eight, they've only got one. Yeah, it's going to be nine as well. Look at this. They can't even afford to do anything else with this. Like, it's it, the PT 50s have come out. They managed to get like a frag on JW last last eco with the PT 50s, but it looks like the opting to go straight towards B here might just be a straight up B rush, and I think it's going to be. Um, I'm not really sure what's going to come of it. You can see the stack coming on Fnatic as well. Three players also aware of what's going on. They're ready for this, and the nades come raining in, and it's going to be an absolute massacre. Olaf Mice have already the best player in Europe at this position. Yeah, and they've already got that crossfire. Pronax wanting to get a piece of the action as well. Bialy, oh, they're going to walk right into it, and Pasha will be able to take out Pronax. But then the damage is essentially done here, and Bialy, yeah, not long in this world. He gets caught. Olaf Meister with three kills. So not too shabby, but just anti-eco stuff, so it's, yeah. it's also not too crazy. But you gotta, you, you got to admire that. You're right, you know, for pointing it out. But Fnatic, they stack up, and not only that, they had like three HEs just banking them, trying to delay it to get that timing just right when Virtus Pro would try and run through that smoke. 
Well, it's interesting now. They've got a shift of mentality for VP. They've finally kind of realised they need to change what they're doing. Getting the AWP out on patches is going to be important. They know that JW is being very aggressive in the middle. We'll probably have an opportunity here to take take a quite an easy pick. Like, if he just buys his time and they don't rush into anything, commit, overcommit early on like they have been, he should be able to make a, like, uh, a pick here. As I said, that like Crim seems to be boosting up a teammate, and this could be all sorts of trouble. You see JW now. Look at his position. Does he catch out Snacks, though? I think Snacks has got the read on this. Snacks, does he see the gun barrel? Yeah, he sees the gun barrel, and then he gives away his position. Now JW knows, takes Ooh. the shot, and loses it. Snacks comes through in that battle, and that was a key win there for Virtus Pro. Yeah, overextending for Fnatic, maybe getting a little bit too cocky now, like getting themselves in a situation they don't really need to be in. Like, that is a big balls play from uh, JW. We know it's good, but losing that kill then is just put the PV in the driving seat. Oh, well, look. Whoa, Crims, he doesn't realize. At least he drops that bomb. He doesn't realize just how much damage he could have done there to Virtus Pro, however. And that sets it up. We still have a man alive on the site. Pronax attempting a pop flash. A bit of a weak one, though, and that's definitely not going to work, at least for the first man through. And Neo just comes around the corner. But Pronax wins the duel, hands down. And it's going to be Pasha now looking for a shot. Pronax trying to bait it out just on the edge. Stands his ground, takes a shot, and forces Pasha's hand. And it's a double op. Well, single op now on Pasha. Last man alive here for Virtus Pro attempting the shots, but he's going to get wall banged down. And what a round from Pronax. Three kills for him. Yeah, like when that AWP's got absolutely zero impact, you kind of, you're left with a question now, what can VP actually do to get into this? Their, their standard play of walking around the map and kind of looking for picks isn't working. The, the execution to B don't seem to be working. The clutches aren't going in their favor. Um, and now we can see the dual orb setup coming in from Fnatic. Like this is going to be even more harder to like to kind of read and kind of work out what they're doing. That tagged up with being on another eco. Like this is when we see VP kind of play at their absolute worst. When they get into this kind of uh, horrible rut, it's very difficult to get out of it. I can imagine there's a lot of bickering going on and I'm trying to question what, what they can do to change this and we, to be honest what can they do but there you go that certainly helps some good aggression coming out is going to help things and then crims man he just readjusts in time he's going to get caught in a bit of a crossfire though snacks is going to be gone but he took so long with that fight somehow virtus pro not able to get the punish on him though and now molotov onto the site crims he's out of bullets and it's going to come down now to jw walking forward with that usp removes the first man but we will not hit the headshot on neo but they should know exactly crims knows where neo's playing from now and it's going to be nice. neo coming through in the clutch Yep, well, there you go. They, they, they've opted to do the B-Rush a couple of times this game, and it hasn't worked out for them, but when they really needed it to, 10-1 down, they pulled it off, it came down to a one-on-one, -on -one, and they managed to keep their call and win that round. And uh, it's not going to affect the CG economy too badly. If they lose this round, they could be in a difficult situation, but they have managed to get a full buyout now. We can see Pash is back in the AWP. We saw him last time didn't have any impact almost whatsoever, but it be interesting to see now if he can kind of change change up the way he's picking. He held middle last time to no avail. Maybe he can find an something towards the apps area. Yeah. Flush is getting very aggressive there as well. Yeah, it's going to be that wombo combo. And Taz, well, yeah, they're, they're, that wasn't going to work. Taz already in position there on the other side of that smoke. Probably spotted the boot, and then that's going to leave Flush now trying to force things here. Bialy gets behind that pillar. He gets spotted, though. Ooh. Hard shot there for Flush to hit, and he's going to be able to make it out of here just in time. And no possible punish. Taz not able to get into underpass there fast enough. We already have the rotation coming through, but it's going to be a push for long. And Crims, just now the smoke clearing up over here. Going to make it a bit tricky for him. Pronax waiting in drop-down room, preemptively trying to predict those flashes. Nice little bank nade, but that's not going to force anybody out here, Neo. And instead, it's going to be Crims with the double kill. We'll wait and see if Pronax is going to get any joy here. Takes the fight versus Neo, and will lose it. And in the meantime, Taz is taking out the man holding on plateau. That is Crims down, but Olafmeister is here with the AWP, and Flush already rotating in as well. Nice shot there. The fadeaway from Olafmeister stands his ground with the P250, gets a second kill, and now it's going to be Bialy. One versus one, and Olafmeister knows where he is. Oh. What was that? Wow, okay. What just happened? Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's just unbelievably good that was so calm like the fact he managed to pick off two players the p250 like that and just brought, bring a nose go out of nowhere that was so so good man off my stuff like such pedigree such talent really really strong i don't even yeah i'm just watching the chat <laughs> up at this point like that was so sick it's killed the chat now the chat has actually gone back three years to what it would like load blocks of chat that's how fast the chat is going so good oh that's so good to watch and that's just put the nail on the coffin i think for this half of vp they're gonna be so upset with that round three and one well they start off strong pronax getting a bit ahead of himself but Olafmeister does take out taz crimson position to catch out snacks as he tries to come through connector and yeah, they, they've managed to reestablish control here, Fnatic. But there was a little bit of a dodgy moment there where things mm. could have got out of control. One thing to note as well, like, 
Fnatic don't seem to be showing any respect whatsoever, like, especially on their gun rounds. It seems like last round, JW just pushing for a smoke in middle by himself. Like, what was that about? Like, that's, that's not... That's not a good thing to do. That's a really stupid thing to do. And they gave us kill away straight away. They shouldn't be winning those rounds. But like when you've got players like Olaf Meister pulling off plays like that, then I guess anything's possible. Why not? Exactly. But that's that you've just, you've in a nutshell, you've just described why Fnatic works. JW yeah. can go for the flash reel, you know, crazy plays. If it works, great. If it doesn't, he's still got like three godlike players to back him up. So that's why it actually does work what he does, and Fnatic works as a whole. And then they, on top of that, they have one of the greatest minds in CS Pronax at the time, right? So, I mean, there you have it, guys. We've just completely canvas, right? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> we figured it all out. There are no more mysteries. It's going to be a mystery. Well, you know, a mystery here. Probably a pretty simple one, though. Is like, how does Neo actually get out of this situation? And he's going to... No, he's not going to get a bump. Right? JW manages to hit the, time, uh, hit the timing right. And so, no joy there for Virtus Pro. And this is just out of completely out of control now. Fnatic 12 and 2. This, th there's no way to salvage this half for Virtus Pro. There's no way to, like, ice it. You know, they, like, they just need the third round. And then they need to cross their fingers and hope for the second half. Yeah, pretty decent buy for them as well. But Flusher, like, opting to buy the, the P90 this time. Um, we know how deadly that can be playing towards that apps area. Like, he'll probably need to be pushing randomly and hoping he, he can get some information there. You can see him getting quite a quite a strong position early on, smoking them off and kind of playing behind that smoke. And he might have some contention here with Snacks. And if he could go down here, this kill's going to be very important. Flusher with the P90 as well, man. It's always such a joy. Yeah. <laughs> Anything could happen. It's all on. Let's see. Now he's committed. Smoke is going to clear. Now he's stuck. An instant Jesus. shot. Oh, he gets another one. Two for one. Right then. And now Apostle is like considering life. What do I do next? Should I go through the smoke? No. Why not? There we go. But then, already we actually have uh, JW managing to bring a kill back. That drops the bomb in underpass as well. That does open it up for Bialy to take a peek from apartments, however, and I don't think they actually have anybody watching it right now, so he could hit that timing and take out JW. That is if JW doesn't realize. Yep. He still hits that shot. He should be dead to rights, but JW 180, shot onto Bialy. Thought for sure he would be gone. Yeah, this is a normal day in the office of JW, really. Like, when you think he's dead, it's like he definitely isn't. He's always going to bounce back and find a find an inch out of the, the gap he gave him. But there we go, 13-2 in favor of Fnatic. And you just find it hard to kind of rule them out of winning this map. Like, I, I don't see what VP can do to hold on for that amount of time. But the, the way Fnatic are playing, they're just going to do a couple of crazy plays and uh, just lock it down quite quickly. But Pistol, obviously, goes without saying, is going to be the most important round VP uh, can imagine, like, if they lose this round, it's pretty much game over. So, uh, looks like they'll be... They, CT pistol is really hard as well. You have to have the gauge whether you stack B and the top of the B rush, which is quite standard for teams and T, or you kind of spread yourselves out quite thinly and kind of get locked down by a complete clock train somewhere on the map. So, we can see Fnatic making their way over to B. It'll be, uh, this, this is going to be so big. Like, they know they can just do anything, really. There's so many rounds to play with. And going for the drop-down area, this is my favorite play, way to play t out and Gobble. Just getting the drop-down and causing chaos. Yeah, because then you can get out into Connector. You can go straight to the site. You can do all sorts of things. And there's two players in Connector here. Pasha, ready to greet JW. So that's already a strong start there for VP. They could throw it away, though, by going in for more. And Pasha does just that. Takes that fight versus Crims. He's going to get dropped fairly low. Flusher tries to push her forward onto the A site. He gets spotted out by the man holding on the site itself. That's Neo. And Neo's still looking for that headshot. He'll take one, and he gets a second one as well. That's how it's done. Flush are gone, and Olafmeister finally coming into the mix, but might be a little bit too little too late. Although, man, just still takes out Taz and makes it look easy. Only problem is that bomb has dropped all the way over on a site, and all three players for Virtus Pro now are sitting on top of it. Yeah, but when there's a will, there is a way. Look at this. Can create a play coming into it. And uh, I think this is the best way to approach it. They can pincer the CTs and kind of get the attention uh, separated from both areas. Like, this is the best way to do it. So Crimson's going to have to start off. I get, I get kind of uh, announcing that they're there in Connector, but then we're going to see uh, Olaf Meister come in and clean up in the back. This could go horribly wrong for VP. As we say that, comes some information is gamed. Did he actually manage to spot out that a man was here? It seems like it. Seems like he knows. Crims takes out Pasha. Olaf Meister, no idea that someone's at his back though. And there's Neo with his third frag of the round. And it's going to come down to Crims picking up the first. Goes jumping through, and Neo's only down to 29 HP here, right on the edge, and he's got oh. to lose it. 
Neo can't do it. Crims comes through. Triple kill for Crims in the end. And Fnatic get that 14th round. Like, that shouldn't really be happening when you've got a three on three on two situation. You know they've got the bomb down. Like, the fact they had someone playing the steps area itself, like, suggests that something kind of went detrimentally wrong in the first place. They should just be playing the bomb side. They can't go to the other bomb side. Just play the stacked positions. Play the, the play the crossfires that favor you. Like it's almost like three se separate situations there. There was no crossfire, no no answer back, and it's just left the uh, VP in a horrible position now. Like they forced up the buy and then they lose this one. It's game over. That's pretty much it. And well, we already have shots going all over the place. Olaf Meister straight out onto the site. Taz is gone, and then he's just going to hold down Mouse one, pick up another kill. Bialy will be able to shut him down with that five seven, but still a two man advantage here for Fnatic. And, well, it leaves Neo and Pasha in a bit of an awkward spot. Pasha backing off into apartments, looking to save, and Neo pretty much doing the same, although he might try and take this scout long, see if he can't have any joy there. Pronax already waiting for him, and Crims as well. There's a shot. Neo goes, and he overextends way out there, and Crims just more than happy to collect 300 bucks. Absolutely, and Pasha's going to be left now. He's got that Mag 7 in hand, and uh, will he be able to do anything with it? I'm not really sure what the best outcome for him is. Like, even if he gets one kill, like, they're pretty much done for still. Um, so he's just going to be holding out and hoping they don't find him. Maybe he can make that work for him next round. Uh, but there we go. This is going to be a match point for Fnatic, and uh, we have so many rounds to play with 13 to go. Like, do you see this going any other way? No, not really. This is just, like... Fnatic once again establishing dominance with the round difference. Yeah, the they're degree. so good at that as well. Like once they get their heels stuck in, like it's so hard to lock them down, especially when they can just kind of get away with murder. It seems like even though they make mm -hmm. almost fundamental CS mistakes, like you said before, there's just they've got that that those players backing them up. They can kind of go for these crazy plays that surprise people. Yeah, I think TSM were the ones who kind of got ahead as far as the round difference in the group. And that might have miffed Fnatic a little bit, because the map versus uh, NIP, now this map here, JW with the auto shot, with like, Son off just goes leaping Sorry through, enough. takes out Pasha. <laughs> Not going to push through that smoke though, so they aren't that crazy. I was about to wonder if they were just going to try and power through, but instead they find another way. Olaf Meister takes out Taz, and that opens up the B site now. Little do they know Fnatic, they could walk out here for free with the bomb. And they might get a sense of that, because Olaf Meister's just kind of running out there. I don't know where one player is at least. Snacks just gonna power his way through, jumping five seven headshot. Second okay. kill there on to flush up. Pronax is there to try and well stand the tide, but now it's still Neo alive here on the B side. He gets a gun to work with, so that's fine and dandy. But he still needs to get over here onto the A side and try and stop this bomb. Not gonna be able to make that in time. But there it is. Pop flash through. Perfect actually. It actually lost works in the out. Smoke there. Yeah. And I think that he messed that up because he hit the edge of the door, but it still works out pretty well. But it won't be enough in the end. Fnatic will be able to pick up that round. They do not actually give any way back.